Hello, this is Cyprian from FEA4All.com and today we'll talk about how to display stress inside your model. So in the one of my previous tutorials I'll show you how to create this plate model uh, and now I only show to you the displacement, the wrestling displacement, but of course uh, you want also to see the stresses. So how do you get the stresses? Well, first of thing is that um, you have to know is that Codaster doesn't uh, create stress by default. You have to tell him. So we have to come back to Aster Study and open open back the the case and the definition we had. And um, if I want to display the stress, I need to add one more comment here uh, in in my list, which is to be found in the post-processing uh, area. So, and it's called, it's the first one called calque champ. So champ means field uh, in French. So calque champ means uh, calculated fields, basically. So this is the function that will tell Codaster to, um, to add some more results to, to your output. Um, so the, um, basically uh, so the first thing you have to do is the name don't forget very important the name you uh, right here in calculation has to be the same than the name you define uh, in your static mechanical analysis uh, step if it doesn't if it's not the same you'll have problems it will not recognize this function so you, you need to have the same name so it can link both together uh, okay and now that we have that Let's go down, and you have uh, all the type of results that can be added. So the one about stress is this one. So stress in French is contrainte. So contrainte means stress. So that's um, you have to know at least this French word. Very useful uh, in this case to find where are the stresses. And now the next challenge is. What is that, right? Uh, all the names are strange. We have EFG, ELGA, EFG, ELNO, EFG, NE. Uh, what does it mean? And then you have CIF, SIGMA, SIPO, zero. Well, it it's uh, quickly overwhelming. So let's take a look at the documentation. So how do we do that? Go here and you have documentation. You click and it opens directly documentation so now now the only problem is that this is French documentation so to get it in English you go into uh, into the address and instead of fr you enter en I know it's it's not intuitive but well, what do you want at least there is this method uh, and then you get directly to the right documentation this is nice now let's find uh, where is the um, the contraint keyword. Okay, thermix. Uh, where do I have dependence operations? Okay, criterion. Thermix oper constraint. I think this one. Yep. So here um, it's explained that you have different kinds of uh, fields. So the EFG is the generalized efforts um, field. And so it is an extraction of the efforts contained in the field SEF, SIF, ELGA, uh, case of the elements of beam pipes of discrete okay um, now the um, w from what I understand uh, this sieve is basically contains more or less everything um, every kind of elements like structural elements 3d solid elements shell elements all kind of results are contained inside this this one SIF. Uh, this one EFGE is basically an extraction of only the part of the result for structural elements like beams and pipes. Then if we go down and sigma L no 
is, uh, I think, the extraction of the constraint, um, which are only for the 3D elements. So, and yeah, so basically, sigma means uh, sigma, so it is the, the stress. Now, what is the second part? Because you have two parts. You have something at the beginning and you have three things. Elga, Elno and Ne. Well, if you still uh, go down, there is uh, another... There is an explanation about that, too. Just have to be able to find it inside this documentation. Okay, uh, I think I'm close. Or not. Okay, let, let me just explain to you. I, I, I can't find where it is explained, but I think it, I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, so what happens is that um, when you calculate, um, calculate the stresses inside an element, in finite element, you generally, well, you, you, you get the stress calculated on the surface of the element. So the surface is what you, you obtain. So you get one stress by element. And if you use first order element, the stress is constant on the surface. Um, but the thing is that you may have error in between two surfaces. So there is a discontinuity between, uh, between two. And Sometimes we want to be able to extrapolate this surface stress to the nodes of uh, the element or to the ghost point, which are, which are some kind of special point used in the calculation of um, calculation algorithm of, of this. So let's come back. So basically, explained simply, it's like that. Um, the L ga means uh, the stress at the ghost point. The L no means the stress at uh, the element node. Um, and that's it. So, and you have difference between sigma and sif. Sif will contain more things than uh, sigma. Um, so if you want more details, well, you just have to read in detail the documentation and I'm sure you will get what you want. So. Let's use sif alga and sif elno, and I don't need sif no, I think. Uh, and now there's another th uh, thing, crit criter, criteria. So basically, this is the von Mises, Tresca, and all that. So we generally also want this. And here again, uh, I think the, the the one we want is the last one, sick elga and sick no, elno. Sorry. So the way it's it's written is a bit um, yeah it, it's a bit difficult. So you, it takes some time to to understand exactly what kind of result it is uh, exported. But once you understand, it's easier. Okay. So now you just define that in the calc shell. You click on OK, um, and basically that's it. So you just have to calculate again your model. like that okay and let's reopen it into Paris so you see that now I still have just wrestling depth uh, so let's take a look at my properties but we see that here and this window we indeed have el no elga el no elga so why doesn't this it didn't display at the beginning that's because the stresses are not exactly um, saved in the same way than the displacement so by default it gives you the displacement but if you want to see those results here you'll have to use um, a filter so um, Paravis is built around this filter concept so you, you have lots of them and the one you want is uh, one of those Elno for example to surface or Elga to surface let's use this one Elno to surface and, oh, and don't forget to apply every time you do a filter or something apply 
and now you get the stress so we can take a look and we see that we got uh, we got the stress so the stress is um, is uh, looks a bit strange not so smooth that's because I think it's not uh, averaged so uh, but this is definitely the, the right value uh, and the right way to, to, to get the stresses so you have different you can see uh, in function of direction S I S X X Y Y uh, the other um, and okay and um, here sick Elno will give me access to fun mazes Tresca and um, principal stresses for example and all of this so I think that's it for for the stress so you get um, that's how you get it okay thanks for uh, watching I hope you learned how to display stresses into uh, Salome Maker and Codaster so if you're on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description otherwise you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.